guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. I feel like we've got some exciting things this week. Um, I've been buying a lot, I should say. Yeah, so I feel like too. we were filming reels before this, uh, some new things that we purchased and have been trying like makeup wise. Um, but in general, I feel like we've just been spending maybe a little bit more than usual. Um, so we picked up this Frenchie candle from Target last week when we went. We've been dying to try Frenchie. It is Ashley Tisdale's wellness brand. And fun fact, when Ashley Tisdale had her lifestyle website, The Hot Mess, yes. we wrote for her website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also met her at an unrelated event we used to host for After Buzz TV. And they threw an event where yeah. she was like a speaker. And we met her there because we wrote for her website. So lots of Ashley Tisdale connections. Yeah, it's it was. So and weird. I know, like on Juma, people have. Um, wrote in about Ashley and how she's actually really mean in real life. She was nice enough to us. Yeah. Like, I feel like she wasn't super friendly, but I don't think that means you're mean. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if it's because she recognizes, because at this event, we went up to introduce ourselves mm -hmm. and she, like, knew who we were. Yeah. She's like, we, oh, you write for, like, my website. Yeah. So she was nice to us. Yeah. But yeah, we're readers of Dumois, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have always really liked her. Mm -hmm. I love her style, her home, mm -hmm. her family. Um, and so we were really excited to try Frenchie. We got the candle because we obviously love candles. We did smell the perfume oils and they seemed nice. I know the reviews are saying they don't last very long, but they didn't have any in store. So mm -hmm. I would get this. This is the cashmere vanilla scent. Yeah. And it's really nice. It's yeah, we like, really wanted the perfume oil, but yeah. it actually translates well to a candle. Yeah. It's very, it's like a really smooth, subtle vanilla, I would say. It's like very warm, but not too sweet or gourmand. And I yeah, it's like a little spicy. Yeah, and the hot throat is pretty weak, but I think that sometimes I don't mind that. I feel like yeah. sometimes like you just kind of want the ambiance of a candle, but maybe you don't want it to like smell in the room yeah. i don't know you know you know what we mean like it's like you could we lit it in our large living room and you could smell it but it wasn't like wafting through the whole house yeah so well, even in the room i feel like you could maybe smell it when you like walked by but i really like my the thing i like about it is how it burns it's super even like we purchased some fall candles from anthro and even though it's like some of them i feel like half my candle is left mm -hmm. around the sides and it's just like tunneled so bad that I can't even burn it anymore. Where this one, like you can tell that it looks pretty smooth still. And the vessel's really cute. I think it was only like $12. So I think it's pre mm -hmm. a pretty decent candle. Mm -hmm. Okay, a random favorite, but I wanted to add pepperoncinis to our wraps we make every day for lunch. And so I looked on Target to see which ones had the best reviews. And these Mazetta sliced golden greek pepperoncinis had really good views reviews medium heat and i like the sliced ones because they're thin yeah they're so, so easy they're to not, spread amongst yeah, they're not yeah they're not as like big as like jalapenos or pickles so yeah. you can like really yeah like spread them out um and then the medium heat is like the perfect amount yeah, of spiciness they're delicious they're so good we've been putting them on everything we had in oh, and out you today, know what and i added them on top of french fries they're so good we have to make the onion dip. And aren't these in the onion dip? Well, it's like a pepperoncini dip. Yeah. It? Yeah, I know. I've had that same thought. Because I don't know which ones we use for those. But in really simple ingredient list, they're just really product of grease. Oh, well, they're really good. Mm hmm. Okay, this is. So I have purchased three new bronzers for if you count the Jacqueline Cosmetics one that I talked about last week. Like, I, I love bronzer. I. Potentially love bronzer more than mascara. I used to say mascara, but it's like my favorite. I know. My mascara is bothering me today. But I think that bronzer is like the product I could not live without. Um, and so I've been purchasing a few because there's so many on the market. And I really want to try the ColourPop Super Shock bronzers. I love the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. They're like my favorite product, ColourPop. And the, the Super Shock shadows are my favorite, I would say. But We've been over this. They've gone super glittery. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just like don't flatter me anymore. So I love the blushes. Um, there's one called Over Dramatic that I've worn for years and mine actually dried out and I threw it away and it like, I, maybe it's in stock now. I should actually check. Anyway, the formula is really nice because it's kind of like that cream to powder formula that's like super thin, really easy to blend with a brush. You could probably even use your fingers with this formula. So when I saw they released bronzers, I purchased immediately when I saw them on Ulta. I got the shade Isle Bet, 
I think it's one of the medium shades and I like this for my skin tone because it has a pretty significant amount of yellow in the base I would say which suits my skin tone personally and my favorite I wouldn't really wear this on its own but to be honest with you I almost always layer powder over cream these days because I have so many of both and I like the way it looks and then the powder kind of sets the cream and makes it all last longer um, and I think this is like the perfect powder bronzer to layer on top of a cream because of like how thin it is and because of how easy it is to blend I just take my brush and I pat it in here and then pat it on my face and it's almost like acts as a setting powder like for your cream bronzer but it's not patchy it like mixes well with any cream bronzer I put underneath it because it just is that kind of like creamed powder so it just blends effortlessly so seamless I think it looks really good on my skin tone like I said like the cream that I wore underneath this is a little bit on the lighter side for my preference I just like a dark bronzer I like to look very bronze especially in the summer and when I layer this on top I feel like it really adds like the bronziness that I'm looking for so 10 out of 10 I've really been loving this Okay, we got the new salad at Trader Joe's. It's the delicious. Mm -hmm. um, and it was so delicious. It had like dill and this like cream. It was like a creamy dressing, right? So I think it's, it had like the dill seasoning packet. Okay, and then the cucumber like creamy dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the dill chips. Yes. Just get it. It's so good. We love their packaged salads, but this one is like my new favorite. It's if you're so a dill good. fan, it's delicious. Okay, and then last, but probably my favorite, is the Zara Red Temptation Eau de Parfum. Um, it is so good. So Amber Lancaster was talking on her stories about that how this is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge. What is the... 540. 540. And I've never smelled that personally. because yeah, you have. Charlene wears it. Oh, she does? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's so expensive. I don't even know where you buy such a perfume. They have it at Nordstrom. No, they not. Online they do. Oh, I'm not sure they have it in store. Why do we never smell it then? I don't know, but it's good. I don't know if they have it at ours. I think my old boss used to wear it too, and she would bring it in. And oh, it was really good. Well, I, you know, you hear so many things about that perfume, but it's insanely expensive. And Amber was talking about how this was a good dupe. And I had actually had this saved in my Zara account on my wish list for a while because I've seen people like do TikTok reviews on it. And I've never heard the comparison between that perfume and this, but I just knew that it was one of Zara's like most popular perfumes. And this size, it's 30 ml, it's only $13. And I wish that they had more in this size because I like to buy the little roller balls that are usually like $7 from Zara just to try out a perfume because they say you can't return it if it's open. So like usually I'll just try it and if I don't like it, like I'm only out $7. Um, but this one I like had a good feeling about knew I would like it and it's only $13. So I feel like this is the perfect amount because I go through so many perfumes. Like I usually wear a roller ball stay mm -hmm. today, but I like to have other options. Um, but it smells so good. It's like, it's way cleaner and fresh than I thought it would be. Like, I feel like it's... I don't think it's an exact dupe, but it smells... Yeah, I doubt it's exact. But I think that it's very... It does smell similar. Because I always thought Baccarat Rouge smelled like crayons. Crayons? Mm -hmm. Do you smell that? And, like, not in a bad way, but it smells like crayons to me. To me, I don't know if I'm getting crayons but I think that it just smells way fresher than I thought. I think it's like fresh and spicy. Like I like that it is clearly not just one thing. It's like has a lot of depth to it. And it, this lasts, I sprayed it yesterday and I should say like I just got this yesterday, but I love it. I sprayed it yesterday and I could smell it on my body all day, all day. And Zara perfumes usually, some of them are too strong like when you first spray them on but then they kind of dissipate and this one really lasted well but I will say when I sprayed it overpowering smell of alcohol denatured alcohol and that's why I don't love perfumes that's why I really love perfume oils because it like really is off-putting to me but that dissipated pretty quickly and I was left with the most glorious scent so if you are in the market for a new perfume even if you aren't it's $13 and it's so good I feel like anybody would like this don't mm -hmm. you think yeah it's just very like I think it's like pretty musky wouldn't you say mm -hmm. it's so good you guys okay thank you guys so much for watching we hope you had a good week and we'll see you next week Bye.